What's good people? It's produced by Polar with one channel and this video is about how to add percussion in FL Studio. So this is for like beginners to intermediate users. Really anybody can probably learn something from this video, but this is really aimed towards beginners and intermediate users. So, you know, percussion, hopefully at this point you know how to add a, mel mel a melody. So all this is is my melody track right here and then this is my um uh, vocals that I just added so the reason I added the vocals is so like I can I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos it's just a neat little trick you can use when you're trying to make beats to kind of like make your beats more like flow a little bit better and just kind of just kind of helps with like the overall beat making so we're going to use this as an example because uh, there's probably tons of percussion videos on YouTube so I'm going to do mine a little bit differently uh, just to give you guys some ideas but uh, so we already have like our our a lot of our instruments picked out here so we're just gonna go with this and this is also like pick using the instruments picking like the best out of what you have and then editing to make it even better so that's what this is all about so we hear this so I mean I don't even know what type of sounds we have here So there's there's your starter right there. Just start recording. So I'm literally just hitting this on my keyboard. Not even my like keyboard keyboard like piano keyboard like my uh, my computer keyboard. Wow. Oh, okay, so when you're doing this, that's a good lesson. Always put this on. I don't know why it was off even. That was just bizarre, actually. I don't even know when I changed that. Yeah, you always have this on, especially when you're doing percussion. So let's do that again. So I was just playing basically again based off of the uh, vocals as well. Just kind of vibe with the vocals. Uh, we have a hi hat pattern. This is good. What other hi hats do you think we can add in? Like. Melodies. Yeah, my melodies. Stay so heavenly. Stay. Now, if you want to add like a second layer of hi hats, go ahead. Just same process. Plus. So. The hats, we're also going to control A, drag it over a little bit because you just don't want your kick and snare to hit at the same time as your hi hats. It just makes things sound weird. And uh, pretty much, there's tons of videos and, and whatnot, producers that'll tell you the same thing and do the same thing. So, just a little bit offset, just a little bit offset, no amigos. Okay. If you want, copy. You can try this too. Now this is just a very serious pattern. Now we're gonna put this in three. Mixer channel three. We're just gonna edit and we're gonna lower the volume significantly. That's hi hats. Let's move on to kicks and snares. And all the other percussion is just kind of like optional, really. Uh, like these are probably the essentials. I mean, other than like 808s too, but we're not really gonna get to 808s because um, this is kind of like a basic tutorial. Uh, although I mean, 808s aren't like extremely hard to add, but you know, I just want people to like digest this and then move on to something else later. 
So we're gonna put our snares at uh, two. Mixer channel two. So here's our snare, 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 hi hat randomly. So we got a bunch of like sounds here. Uh, what you going with the kicks? Like kicks? I doing layers and layers and layers. You'll see what I'm talking about. Just. Melodies. So it's good to establish like the pace you want for your snare. Like, so let's see. Granted, this snare doesn't make a noise. This would be two. That's why probably. Kind of want your snare to hit at the same time. Snares are like the most basic and complicated instrument in any beat, I swear. You see, like, notice how, like, the snares I picked, like, it's like a softer snare because it is a softer, kind of, like, chill beat. So you also, like, when you're doing your sound selection, when you're picking your sounds, your drum kits, etc., from your drum kits, etc., um, just, like, make sure that it makes sense to your beat. And don't just settle for a sound because, like, you gotta start taking your beat seriously at some point. I know, like, my first year or so, I was just kind of making beats. I didn't really care about all sounds and all that. But now I'm, like... Yeah, I definitely make sure I pick the right sound. So you just kind of like start doing stuff. So you have the basic snares here. I'm like not even really like looking at this. So. so two of those made sense. Yeah. This is something that we can do, even though I like skip like an entire like. Try to make them like symmetrical as well. That's also like why, again, I add the uh, vocals. The mo vocals just kind of like make things make sense. All right, so we're pretty much like done when you think about it. Like that's really it. But uh, we're gonna do more. Yes, more, more, more. Up the velocity on the kicks. On the kick. Okay. Same thing with the snare. We want to do the same thing with the snare. Go back to the snare. Make it pop. All right, you'll hear that now. Yeah, We're really making beats now. Okay, go back to the kick. Now with your kick, let's do a little bit more here. Let's let's like make the kick more interesting. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, I'm sorry. If you ever pan on accident, hit the reset button. So we can do that, watch. A little simple pattern like that. It's the same thing there, a little simple. Like little subtle changes like that, but like it makes a big difference. We enter the super bounce part where we're just like now we're gonna start stacking see how that sounds copy it there too wow 
Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's like so there are situations where the first kick is like the only one that really makes sense. Sometimes you can stack it and it makes sense. Also, you probably want to try doing this to make it even thicker. So if, if you pick some different kicks, they don't work. Uh, do exactly what I just did. Hold on, man. My alarm's going off. One second. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Yep. Double the kicks here. Uh, so that was like basically the solution that we found. Then we're gonna go to the snares. Same thing with the snares. Is it? Any of these make sense? That's probably a situation where like we can clone it. Um, it's a little loud though, so you know that's why it's in the mixer. Put it down a little bit. And then also with the kick, you can also do this. I also do this with the snare too. Uh, you see what I'm about. So snare. Only thing I do with this is drag this over and down. Cause you don't want the snare to sound to change too much, especially if you feel like you got it right. Just keep it, just keep it. Then with the kicks, you can be nasty with the kicks just by doing this. Sting me. Is it too heavy? So you gotta find that safe zone. Definitely want to EQ like that. And then evaluate if that even sounds better. Honestly, like, it's a little bit of a difference. Lower the volume. Okay, that's really it, guys. Um. Thanks for watching. There's other stuff you can do percussion wise, like add different sound elements, but I hope you got like a basic overview stacking and like how to choose a snare, how to do your snares, a little simple snare. Make sure the snare is on beat. Uh, and then with the kicks, just do whatever. And one thing you can do with the kick is like, I'm always like, sometimes I come back to a kick later and I'll do even more. Like, for instance, Watch this kick, like, I'll wrap the video up after this, but, okay, fit kick, that was like our bass. That's really that. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is how to add percussion for beginners. Um, you know, pick. Also, like, I'll go ahead and recommend some f good free stock kick drums and stuff. Not there. Uh, packs, legacy, anything in drums. Any. This is pretty much a safe zone. Hip hop, fit in vintage. Just go in there, pick some stuff. They got stuff. Hip hop has stuff too. If you're really just starting out, try to get some drum kits. There's a lot of free drum kits. Uh, trust me, uh, there's tons of free drum kits. Just get f good free drum kits. And if you don't like a drum kit, just delete it. Not every drum kit's gonna be amazing, but you really just want this sound to be like how you want. Um, that's it for this percussion tutorial, guys. Again, stay tuned for more. This is produced by Polo with One Channel. Peace out.